Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the Pokey 2 bot and I'm going to explain how it works and the basic fun functions of it. So the Pokey 2 bot spawns Pokemon every time when someone writes a mes message or I don't know, every tenth time for example, I don't really know. Uh, we have a spam channel here and two, two people just spam, that's me by the way, on my laptop account. Um, and then Pokemon spawn. Then you have to... Uh, find out the names of the Pokemon, you can for example Google or you just know them. For example, I, I don't know this one at the moment, but I'm not gonna Google now because yeah, it isn't that good either. So w once it spawns those, you can type P exclamation mark, but I changed that to dot, uh, to comma. So I'm gonna type comma, C and then name of the Pokemon. So this for example, the new one is Kleinstein in German. So now I catch the level 23 Geodude, that's the English name obviously. Um, now I can do, you have to do P exclamation mark if you're not in this discord. Um, I, L for example, info latest, I'm gonna write it out, info latest, so you know what's going on. By the way, the comma C stands for catch. Then you can see some information about the Pokemon. How, my, how much XP it's got, the nature of it. You can also see the HP of the Pokemon, attack, defense, just like a normal Pokemon basically. And then also the IV. The IV means which potential the Pokemon has. Like if it's a high IV, I'd say 70% and more, um, at least for the beginning, that's a good IV and everything below that isn't as good. Once you catch the Pokemon and it's level, and it's a high level, for example, I can do slash dex, not slash, comma dex, pit geodo, and then I can look up which level it needs. Pidgeotto evolves from, from Pidgey starting from level 18 and evolves to Pidgeot starting from level 36. So if I now level up this Pidgeotto to level 36, uh, I could evolve it with comma evolve latest or the number of the Pokemon. You can check out the number by typing comma p and then all your Pokemon will be listed. You can see showing 1 out of 20, so I have 20 sites. You can change this view uh, by typing comma order and then whatever you want to order. For example order number, now if I do comma p stands for Pokemon um, I can see the number of my Pokemon in the order that I catch them. I could also do order Pokedex and if I now do comma p, my Bulbasaur is the first one because it's really early in the Pokedex. Maybe the, the earliest Pokemon? I don't know actually. Comma Dex, you can also do comma Dex and then you can see uh, the Pokemon that you got. Yeah, Bulbasaur is number one. C, Knofenza, and now I catch the bell sprout. So there are a few other commands that you should know. You can also always look, uh, look them up by typing comma help. You can then see a help command, for example help auction. I didn't really use auction yet and also not uh, the shop too much and there's no event at the moment. Um, you can then see all the so all the info for the auction and you can also do comma help battle or yeah anything really if you forgot it. There's also a Poke2 guide. Poke2 guide. Um, this one's really good. I'll I'll link it in the description. Um, you can also go to the commands here. Uh, there is a p hint command. I did not know that. <gasps> that is so op. <laughs> so yeah, you, you see, I'm, I'm still a noob, obviously, um, but I know a few commands. So the other commands that you might want to use are comma vote, no comma daily. Oh, both works. You can vote for them on top.gg. And then you'll get a vote streak, 
Actually, I'm, I can. Oh no, I can do it again in twenty five in twenty four minutes. You can do that every twelve hours. Um, if you vote multiple days in a row, you get better rewards. Yeah, it, it's pretty self explanatory. Then you can use comma open normal blah 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 to open the chests. Now I'm gonna get to the search and trade part. Dash dash name. And for example, Weedle. I want to see all the Weedles that I own. And you can see it's only one. Um, I could also do... You can also do P type water. Then you can see all your water Pokemon. Now to the trading part. For trading, you need the command comma T for trade. And then you need to tag the person that you want to trade with. For example, if I wanted to trade with Alex, uh, I could now, now send this command and uh, it'll pop up a message that he, ca that he can accept by clicking on the reaction. Once you're in the trade, wait, let me help trade, maybe you can see it also, yeah. If you're in a trade, you can do comma trade add and then arcs. Arcs means that you have to do that you have to input the number of the Pokemon. So it's p add 6 for example, if I want to add my Butterfree, Butterfree and not p add Butterfree. That's always the case also when you want to select Pokemon to level them up. You level them up by, uh, by writing by the way. So I can select 57 my Kakuna and now if I do comma info I can see my Kakuna and I can level it up. Once you and your trading partner edit your Pokemon, you can do comma trade confirm and it'll confirm the trade. You can also cancel it. I don't know how it all, it all works, but yeah, that works. <laughs> mm. Then there's also comma battle. Also you have to tag your, uh, your battling partner. Uh, if I do help battle. Oh, wow. That's a really helpful help. Anyways, th there's the command uh, battle and then add the Pokemon trainer that you want to battle. Uh, then the bot will DM you in your home thing and it'll say you what to do. Um, you have to... Actually, I can show you. It'll DM you and ask you what should, for example, in my case, Swiders do use headbutt, use crunch, blah blah blah, and then you can choose one of those numbers and it says which number is which. It's pretty self-explanatory. If it does not DM you, then it's just a bug and it's taking some time. Um, don't worry about that. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything either. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments. And yeah. I'll see you, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.